Well, hi! Welcome to my studio. I'm Linda and welcome to Linda Magruder Art. So today is the opening of my 2023 art studio tour and you are here to see everything that I've done. It's different from last year because I have to rearrange. Seems like I rearrange the whole year when I get started. So let's, without further ado, let's get started. So I have a collection of art books and I know I have way too many art books but when I went back to art school, went back to college, guess what I bought? I bought art books. Very good reference. Believe it or not I've gotten rid of about six boxes worth and I still have that many boxes. So on top there is a um, picture of my dad and just some hodgepodge of artwork. That's my mom. I did a collage of her up there. And then um, Katie is my helper today. She's going to span down. And you can see the books. And those great big um, folders up here, the notebook books. These is where I keep all my rubber stamps, which I think I have too many of those too. Got to go through those. But um, I have watercolor books. I have oil painting books. I have books to learn how to draw. I got journaling books. I've got books for trees, landscapes, flowers. There's coloring books in here, adult coloring books. There's um, art history books. There's just so many books, but I love my books. So I hold on to my books until I need to make more room. So, but I have gotten rid of a good good many and I just give them away. I have gave them away to people in my town who um, really like to paint and who enjoy art. So moving on, the next item you're going to see is this little, I call it just an angle shelf. It's made of solid wood and it holds all crafting supplies starting at the top with my materials that I have. Most of them are Dollar Tree. And then with the silk flowers, as you come down, there is all silk flowers. Take it to the very bottom, and then the very bottom is just napkins. So there's an overflow of books at the bottom there. And then coming over, this is just a tower of CDs. Just the only place I can find to put it right now. Here is a um, succulent I did a couple years ago. And... The closet I took the door off at the top there is nothing up in there but crafting things like lace ribbons glue gun um, just all kinds of stuff you need for crafting uh, I teach art to kids in the summer so I keep all of that um, and it comes in handy so the next two shelves hi Bob there's Bob Ross um, they are my canvases just a the smaller ones, the bigger ones are kept in a, another room. And then you come down, there is stickers and more crafting. And the bottom one is all crafting. And the rest is just overflow. And then the bag there from the Dollar Tree is a video that will come out soon of crafting items that I found at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so moving on. And on this cart, this has... Um, Jelly printing things at the top. This is all jelly printing paper, jelly printing, um, you know, the gel prints and paints for it. And then all the rest, rest of the way down, you'll see is scrapbooking supplies for more journaling. It's underneath there is um, just a heat, uh, like all kinds of doodads for embellishments and behind here is more stamps. I got wooden stamps at the bottom and then at the bottom, clear on the bottom, I just had some extra like sandpaper pads and whatnots and that. So, and then let me move this back. This is a little table I got at Hobby Lobby about three years ago. I love it. It looks like a pallet on top. So it's so cool. Very cool. Very kind of texture too. You can feel the texture of the paint. And I just keep my watercolor brushes on there for now. And then moving to the right. Um, this wall is, this is my painting area where I paint. Um, 
I'm acrylic painter. I'm a painter first, artist first, slash crafter second. So, um, I have a, a wide collection of paintbrushes. Um, usually when I go shopping, I don't come home without a paintbrush. <laughs> um, but that's just me. Um, and then when I was in school, I bought a lot. So, because painting was my focus. So, this is a new cart that I just got. It came from Amazon, and it holds all of my paints down there. As you can see, they're in categories by color, the best I can get because they're overflowing. And then over here is just mediums you use, like there's gesso, some more acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree that I want to use in gel printing and so forth. So, and then it has this drawer, which I have a few things in it. Um, some paint brushes, just my cord from my computer. And then in that corner, there's more canvases because I still teach painting classes and I like to keep up on having a back supply for that and so I just hooked up some paints to this um, I think I got this at Tractor Supply believe it or not and I loved it so and and then I just got some paints hanging on the wall on it and Bob Ross again and then here's my Winsor Newton H-Frame Easel um, I've had it for about 10 years. I love that that easel. It's really good. So to the right, I have one of those spinning wheels to hold the acrylic paint that mainly I um, use these to paint on rocks with. They're really good for rocks. I don't paint canvases with these because it's just, to me, it's a no-no. Um, these two here are from uh, Michaels, and I've got them with their tags on them. I'm not going to go through each drawer, but I will pull a drawer out or two to show you. These are my distress inks for um, scrap, well, not scrapbooking, but art journaling. And then in here I keep hodgepodge of different paints. Oh, I'll just pull them all out because everybody likes to see. I know I like to see. And this is my, my inks. And this is the whole thing of washi. And this is just a whole thing of stencils. Okay. And in here is just markers, Crayola, Sharpies. And then this one is tools, like my little um, push, I forget what they're called. I forget what they're called. There's extra paint brushes. In here, these are for, um, I have to do a review and my acrylic blocks in there. Okay, the next one is more tools. The daubers, that's what they're called, daubers. <laughs> Couldn't think. And these are just tools for um, your ink pads. And here is nothing but glitter. All kinds of glitter. The kids love that in the summer. And then this is just some of my paper pads. Okay, so. Now, remember when I said I was an artist first and a crafter second? This whole area is nothing but art supplies. So, at the top, this whole area here is watercolor paints. Yes, I have a lot of watercolor paints, but it makes me happy. And whatever makes me happy is a happy wife, happy life. So, that's how I feel about that. And moving on, this is more watercolors. There's um, gouache. This is acrylic all kinds of acrylic um just a, a gouache acrylic it's just a lot of that i got for christmas um here is my prismacolor pencils and yes a whole load of Chris, uh, uh, color pencils different brands different kinds um i i love my art stuff it makes me happy and down below is more pencils these are water soluble these are my drawing pencils if you could ever find these being out, these are the best drawing pencils, sorry, that I have found. They are awesome, awesome, and they are hard to find. Got those when I was in school, so I went back to school at 47, and um, one of the students said they were really good. So I got those pencils, and I thought they were great, and... I did a lot of good artwork with those. So the rest is just plain drawing pencils. Here's my plain air box to use this summer. And then on the very last is watercolor acrylic paper. And here's, this is 
more scrapbook paper and just tablets to draw with. This on this side or the left is, excuse me, is um, the chalks and my new woodies I got and oil pastels in that area. So um, I try to keep all my art stuff together in one area because I can't stand it if it's across the room and it's with something else. So I try to keep everything in categories and it works out well for me. So up here, um, these are two units from Walmart. I've just put them horizontally. And from here all the way up to the top, these are drawing tablets, watercolor journals, more drawing tablets. Here's some brand new supplies, a lot that I got for Christmas. Um, markers, mainly markers here, or watercolor pencils, or uh, ink pens and pens. Um, and here's just um, gel, um, gel pens, uh, a bunch of gel pens. Oh, uh, why? I have a lot of stuff. And then those containers here at the top are um, everything to do with scrap or um, journaling also. There's bling, there's butterflies, there's ephemera in there. Um, this one, believe it or not, is empty. That's a good thing. Um, here's more bags of ephemera for scrapping. It's the only place I can find. If I put it in the, over there at the other closet, it just gets too cramped. So I just stuck it there. Um, and uh, these are all gifts from my daughter. The, the Kate, say hi, Katie. Hi. Katie's <laughs> filming for me. She's my daughter, and she gave me all of these for my uh, art journaling. And she's so good to me. She always buys me art stuff. So. Or happy planner stickers. They're happy planners. <laughs> yes, that's what they are. Um, and then there is just more watercolor pa paper, and these are just journals to write in. I use those to write down ideas and stuff I need to uh, for when I teach art classes. Uh, the next is, that's just like a hodgepodge of, I don't know where to put the stuff. So I had this shelf, I stuck it in the corner, and I just put all that stuff back here. There's pens, there's buttons, it's just the hodgepodge of everything. And um, I got my scissors in this little round thing that just kind of twirls. And there's some regular pencils in there and, and that. This little tiered thing, um, and Katie got me this. And I've put all my glues and stuff up there and adhesive here. So this is my table. I had originally had this back over by the window and didn't like it over in the window. It was not enough light. So I moved back to the window. And um, I like it here much better. I like to be able to see out when I'm painting or drawing or whatever. So um, these are all just acrylic, mainly to hold makeup. And I just got different things in each one, just an overflow, because I have so much stuff in. And I know, I know true crafters and I know artists all have a lot of stuff. So um, I know I'm not alone <laughs> on that. So moving on, um, we're almost done, folks. This is a three-tiered, and this has all of my... Um, my little King Art, they're like those little water soluble gel crayons. A lot of those up in this area, and then more markers and such there, more gel pens. And all of this here, this is this here on this shelf, and right here is all jewelry making supplies. Now, I haven't made jewelry forever. I used to go to our town home fest, made jewelry, sold it. But I'm hanging on to it because I can use it when I do my art journaling and add a little gem here and there. So that's why I keep it. And then the rest of it is just all art journaling. More paper. The 6x6 paper. Buttons. My husband just got me this. This is a really nice glass jar. And it holds um, almost all my buttons. You saw the rest over there to the side. And these two are just... I put bags in from the Dollar Tree to hold just different things and this cart is full of supplies for art journaling and for you doing your junk journals and most of this came from Amazon and some Shein um, it's, just, it's just full uh, it's just so full um, and then I had nowhere to put my um, TV I did keep it over on my desk which I really liked it there but it took up too much room, so I had to move it over here. 
and then it does extra storage containers on the bottom and then right behind the door which the door does need paint and look at all where I've touched it every time I come in that <laughs> I had paint on my hands that needs redone but anyway this has all of my punches I don't have a lot of punches it looks like a lot but they're all mixed together and I've got other things mixed with it too it's like a random thing of hand sanitizer I don't know why I have hand sanitizer in here but anyway that is the 2023 um, tour thank you for stopping by out of your day and watching my videos I so appreciate it thank you to all the new subscribers and if you like this video I appreciate a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing already um, this is an art channel and I've got a lot of content coming out thank you guys for watching and have a great weekend bye bye guys